and grow YouTube show. And I think people can get really off put when you use a term magic. Magic yes. magic used to be really triggering for me personally. Mm. Like it's still, um, you know, I've had my own journey with magic in the last couple of, in the last year. I actually recently bought the book, The Green Witch. I <gasps> um, love that book. I love that book. It's a great book. It's, it's a so great good. book. And personally, the term witchy still, I don't resonate with that term for myself. Mm -hmm. But the more I read about witches... <laughs> the more my world becomes open. And no, I don't personally feel or see myself as a witch, but I feel myself as super spiritual. And there's some stuff in that green witch book that I'm like, shit, this is, yes, absolutely, 100%. There is a relationship with plants that we can have, you know? And then yeah. I also feel like a lot of people go through this process that I'm going through right now, thinking witches were you know, the Salem witch trials and feeling like it's a super negative stigma and mm. then finding witch talk on TikTok or finding a, the green witch book. Cause I'm like, Oh, it's a witch book, but it's about plants. Like maybe yeah. I am interested in that. Yeah. And then kind of just letting your world continue to expand and, and expand. Yes. Um, and I think any way that we can figure out a way to reconnect with nature whether it's self-care practices, whether it's spells, whether it's spirituality, whether it's whatever it is, I just think figuring out what works for you is so important. And you make this so accessible in this book that you've written. Oh, thank you. Do, 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 do